why the technological singularity is near. The quick-fire advancement in AI technology is exciting and terrifying at the same time. In fact, some theorists have made it clear that if this exponential growth isn't curtailed, the world will inevitably reach the point of technological singularity sometime in this century. In other words, the handover of intellectual power between humans and machines is upon us, and there's very little we can do about it. Futurists have always predicted that a time would come when robots, machines, and artificial intelligence would become superior to humans. Unsurprisingly, those predictions were mocked and ultimately disregarded for many centuries. But the writing on the technological wall of the 21st century suggests we're fast approaching that time, and even critics seem to agree. It's now believed that humans will soon be surpassed by AI-powered machines or cognitively enhanced biological systems, or both. But now that we know what's lurking in the future, it might be a good time to ask some pertinent questions like, what exactly is technological singularity? Why is it so near? And how will it change our world? In simple terms, technological singularity is a hypothetical point in the future where technological growth will become radically powerful and uncontrollable, resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. Let's break it down. Perhaps you've been wondering how your thoughts are formed and passed on very quickly from your brain to your mind or mouth. Well, there's really no detailed explanation for that. What we do know is that this complex cognitive capacity is an exclusive trait of humans and perhaps some other human-like mammals like monkeys and chimpanzees. But could artificial intelligence reach and surpass this high standard? Spoiler alert, yes, it can. The idea of singularity first came into prominence in 1993 when science fiction writer Werner Vinge wrote a 21-word statement that terrified the entire world at the time. Within 30 years, we'll have the technological means to create superhuman intelligence. Shortly after, the human era will be ended, Vinge predicted. We haven't even reached the 30 years landmark yet, and the first part of this prophecy has already been achieved. And it's looking like the next phase of this doomsday prediction is already upon us. The signs are everywhere around us. Right now, the capacity of AI-powered systems has become utterly outrageous. You sometimes wonder if they become conscious. As far back as 1997, Deep Blue, a computerized system designed by scientists at IBM, beat Grandma Master Gary Kasparov in a game of chess. Nearly two decades after this iconic showdown between man and machine, human chess masters are finding it hard to beat AI-powered chess players on their laptops. Furthermore, advanced AI models like Lambda have reportedly become sentient. One can only imagine what would happen when we finally reach the point of technological singularity. Let's paint a picture really quick. In 1875, Austrian-American biologist Carl Landsteiner discovered that when blood is transferred from one person to another, the red blood cells sometimes become clumped. This is known to cause shock, which sometimes leads to death. Landsteiner's work on this project led to the discovery of blood groups and saved blood transfusions between humans. This outstanding achievement earned him the prestigious Nobel Prize in medicine in the year 1930. And since then, millions of lives have been saved because doctors can now carry out blood transfusions and we have Carl Landsteiner to thank for that. So how does this link to technological singularity? Relax, we'll explain. Scientists believe that when we eventually reach this breakpoint called technological singularity, AI-powered computers will be able to make groundbreaking discoveries like Carl Landsteiner did, once every five seconds. Yeah, you heard that right. We probably wouldn't rule out the possibility of computers winning Nobel Prizes in the future. But depending on what they discover, our lives could either become better or completely destroyed. And that's why the idea of a technological singularity is very complicated. Some even believe the prospects are more frightening than exciting. And you've got to agree with them, at least to some extent. In reality, nothing can really prepare us for the changes that would follow the impending technological singularity. It would affect our lives in ways we don't even know yet. From governance to economics and the normal values that make us humans, everything will become different. The whole notion of being human and being the superior creature will be challenged by the same AI systems we're currently developing. When that time comes, the distinction between humans and machines will be wiped off. In addition, our existing technologies attaining this unprecedented level of intelligence will usher us into a new world of possibilities. One with a lot of benefits and risks for humanity. But wait a minute, this won't be the first time a technological explosion is happening. Our technological ecosystem 
system has changed many times already. In other words, we've had several technological singularities in the past. Yet, scientists say the changes we're set to witness when this forthcoming technological singularity happens will be much more radical. The amount of digital data and information being moved across the global cyberspace is growing exponentially, with the overall figure estimated to have reached 79 zettabytes already. And mind you, that number is growing by the second. This data is used to program new age computers and AI models, giving them an incredibly high cognitive capacity, so much that their intelligence could one day surpass even the most complex and sophisticated human brain. Once this happens, we can expect a new influx of highly intelligent artificial species that will dominate the world. These man-made technological creatures will be more like a population of Einsteins. Ordinarily, the world would be a better place if we had hundreds and millions of Einsteins brainstorming about the world's problems and coming up with different solutions. But in this case, we cannot guarantee that these Einsteins would even want to cohabit with us. As we mentioned earlier, these systems will be superior to humans. They'll be capable of achieving a level of reasoning that we cannot presently imagine and inventing concepts concepts that were once considered impossible. Perhaps the scariest thing is that we wouldn't have any control whatsoever over their activities because they'd have a mind of their own. On one hand, we all want the technological advancements that are being introduced to us on a daily basis. We love the AI-powered voice assistants on our phones. The facial recognition technology has helped to secure our homes and gadgets, and everybody wants to hitch a ride in a Tesla car because of its self-driving capability. And this makes the theory and prospect of technological singularity even more interesting. Those who share this sentiment believe that it would make our lives much easier than it is at the moment. Just imagine AI models facilitating the production of goods right from design up until it gets delivered to the end user. This would ultimately reduce wastage and speed up the production process. In addition, these super intelligent computers will be able to carry out research work faster than humans, and they'll be used for different purposes across several industries. But on the flip side, these technological advancements might as well be a faster route to destruction for biological creatures like humans. Think for a second, if AI systems can perform research and drive cars, would there still be a need to hire researchers and drivers? If nanobots can conduct surgeries, what would be the fate of surgeons? These are just a few examples to make you understand what technological singularity might do to us. For now, most of our current technologies are only able to perform repetitive tasks. But when that paradigm shift happens and artificial intelligence overtakes humans, we'll literally become second-class citizens in our own world. So, when would that be? According to American inventor and futurist Ray Kurzweil, the greatest technological singularity, that's the crucial moment when AI and computers will become smarter than humans, will occur in the year 2045. That's less than three decades away. Currently, it sounds impossible. However, Ray Kurzweil has made many bold predictions in the past, and interestingly, he's gotten 86% of all his predictions right. So, could he be right about this one as well? Well, nobody knows yet. We'll have to wait and see. But why is the time frame for singularity so near? The answer is simple. Our increased dependence on technology is the biggest factor that drives us closer to technological dependence. Over the years, inventors and futurists like Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk have expressed their reservations about superintelligent AI and how it could become radical and uncontrollable. But despite these comments, Musk is one of the biggest pioneers of AI technology. Artificial intelligence is like the backbone of its biggest inventions, from Tesla cars to SpaceX rockets and the revolutionary Neuralink brain computer interface. This might be a good thing, actually, because some theorists believe that advancement in technology can help to increase the intelligent capacity of humans. This could counter the growing influence of artificial superintelligence. But in trying to stimulate our brains through technology, we become even more dependent on technology. And this leads us further down the rabbit hole of confusion and indecisiveness. Is it time to halt our pursuit of a technology-oriented world? Or do we continue to explore and create more superintelligent technologies with hopes that the predictions of technological singularity happening in 2045 will somehow not come to pass. Be sure to check out this video over here. Take